Hello everybody, it's Matt from TDM Style here, and welcome back for another First Impressions video. Today, I've got the brand new Clay Effect Style Spray from Baxter of California. So funnily enough, I was actually on Baxter's website the other day just taking notes for another upcoming video and I saw this brand new clay effect spray and um, I was doing a little research on it and it sounded really cool and I thought to myself like, I really should pick that up and try it out soon. And um, as it turned out, I came home a little bit later that afternoon to find a box on my doorstep and lo and behold, it was from Baxter and it had this inside. So this is a uh, four ounce or 120 milliliter glass bottle. And looking on the front, it says Stronghold Textured Finish. And uh, it's got a number of the ingredients listed right there. So bamboo leaf extract, jojoba oil, which by the way, my wife just told me that I've been pronouncing that incorrectly. I was saying jojoba oil before, so my bad. Uh, it also has green tea extract, and then it says matte finish and paraben free. Now in the box was also this letter from Baxter and it's got um, some interesting styling tips about how to use this from one of their barbers named Anthony Diaz. And this says, use this clay in a spray to replace a sea salt spray if the look you're going for is a lived in, worked through look. Maintain loose ends and control frizz with a few pumps. Pair with one of Baxter's pomades to hold hair in place. Use as a quick touch up post gym or while you're on the go, so that's pretty cool. And then it says, use on wet or dry hair and finish with a blow dry if desired. For fine short hair, use three pumps. For thick, curly, or longer hair, use six. And for coarse hair, use eight. It also came with this lookbook issue from Baxter. And this guy on the front here is actually um, what you'll see on the website when you look at the clay effect spray. And so obviously his hair looks amazing. So if this stuff makes my hair look anything like that, I will fully endorse this product. <laughs> so I'm super excited to try this out. So I'm gonna go ahead and have a wash and then I'll come back and give it a go. All right, so I've got freshly shampooed hair, so I've put nothing else in it, so I'm just gonna use this and see exactly how this stuff works. Actually, before I use it. Okay, so it does have a little bit of a scent. Kind of a clean cologne-y type of scent, but it's barely detectable. So we'll see if it smells like anything when I'm actually using it. So obviously I have fairly long hair and it is wavy and thick. So I'm gonna start with the recommended six pumps and we'll kind of go from there, I guess. All right, so you do smell it a little bit when you're spraying it on, but it's, like I said before, it's barely detectable, but I like it. It's a nice scent. Definitely a little bit cologne-y though. So it feels very smooth. It does feel a little bit like a sea salt spray, but less gritty. It feels a little bit more um, smoothing than that. Not sticky at all on the hand, so that's nice. All right, so I'm sure it's not gonna come out anything as nice as this guy's, but I'm gonna go for a similar type of fringy, but volume kind of messy wavy style. I don't know, we'll see what happens. All right, well, I don't think it came out quite as cool as his, but um, it definitely worked quite well. My hair feels very light, um, nice and smooth. I think it did a nice job of controlling frizz and flyaways. And I was definitely able to build in some nice volume, I mean, with just that product alone. Um, I'm curious to see how it would work as a finishing spray, since they did seem to kind of allude to you could possibly use it as a replacement for hairspray as well after your normal post styler. So I think for the sake of science, I'm gonna add just a couple more sprays as kind of a finisher and see how it works on dry hair. All right, so even on dry hair, it's definitely, there's no stickiness, goes through no bother at all. Um, I'm liking what I'm seeing right now that it's just basically adding some more texture and controlling the frizz even more. Like my hair just looks really nice and healthy right now. As it's drying, you can feel a little bit of tackiness. Um, so you can feel the hold kind of setting in, but it's, like I said, it's not sticky at all. It's, there's no tug or pull. Um, it actually feels quite nice to be honest. So, um, I definitely like that even more adding a little bit into dry hair. I think the texture looks really good. Um, it definitely has a nice natural shine to it. 
and I can feel the hold is there. I, I mean, I wouldn't necessarily call it a stronghold per se, but um, for being just a, a spray that I've used nothing else with it except the blow dryer, I think it did a really nice job. I really kind of like how this style came out. And still, my hair just feels very lightweight, very soft, and um, it just it feels very like hydrated and just nice right now. So yeah, first impressions of the Clay Effect Style Spray. I really like it, actually. Um, well done, Baxter. I definitely think it's a very unique product. Um, I could certainly see it being a replacement for a sea salt spray because it does add that grittiness and texture. It even has a similar finish, like it does have that kind of salty, beachy look to it. So I think for um, days where you might not want to take a whole lot of time and you want a more relaxed, easygoing hairstyle, this type of product would be great. So over the coming days, I'll definitely be using this product more. I'll use it in a bunch of different ways, like they mentioned as a finishing over your normal styler and so on. So um, I'll expect a full review coming up later. But as of right now, first impressions, good stuff. I'd like to say a huge thank you to Mac and everybody over at Baxter for keeping me in this loop. It was really super nice of them to think of me and send me this new product without even mentioning it. That was just a really great surprise. That does it for today's video. Please be sure to subscribe for all the upcoming content. And as always, thank you guys so much for coming by and watching, and we'll see you at the next one.